printing it regularly, please. Hey guys, welcome back to Bus Simulator 16. Uh, I was going to do a video today about the most recent update, which would be upset up. Which would be update number four. Um, but to be honest, the update is a lot smaller than I was anticipating, and I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, it seems the only the only feature they've implemented is uh, round trips, really, uh, and there's. Um, there's force back, force feedback, and um, multiple number of steering wheel um, sort of configurations that have been included. So if you've got a G G25 or a G29 or anything like that, they'll now be included and have default button sets, which is uh, yeah, it's great, I suppose. Um, but it's not really what I was hoping for. To be honest, I was expecting something a little more. Um, exciting, a little more positive. The uh, the round trips feature basically means that uh, if I was driving this red route here and I got to the end, I could turn around, I think, and go back the other way. So that's it. And the only other thing really to talk about is that uh, in some languages, uh, if you named a bus, it would uh, be the naming convention would be too big for the bus. It wouldn't fit on the bus properly. And the same applies with some police cars and ambulances. In some languages, it was off the edge of the um, off the edge of the model. So they fixed that. And that's pretty much it. Um, it's a bit disappointing. I was actually hoping for something quite positive and it hasn't really materialised. Um, it's good that they haven't completely left us in the lurch it's a little concerning that they haven't listened to the feedback from their from their users and um, sort of implemented the changes that we're all really looking for it's a bit of a shame um, hopefully the next update will be a big one and something notable will have occurred but uh, that's pretty much it for me guys